Hey guys, this is Amber with thelovegal.com and youtube.com backslash thelovegal. If you want to be a part of this positive community, all you have to do is click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Welcome to the family. As you can tell by this title, I am going to be dropping gems on this topic. To get it out the way, yes, I have manifested love numerous times, so I can speak on this from a sincere place. And I know a good chunk of my subscribers, aka my fam, are trying to manifest love in different ways. It could be a love that they lost. It could be a love that they want to find. It could be a love from a friend, a relationship, family member, it don't matter. But when it comes to manifesting love, and I really hope you watch this video to the end because I'm telling you, I'm about to be talking to you guys like you are one of my friends. One of my family members, I am the exact same way around every single person that has come into my life. People can vouch, I am the exact same way, so it's not gonna be anything different with you. Hit this video with a thumbs up if you are trying to manifest love. And you could even drop a comment if, if you're not shy about what you're trying to manifest as far as love and stuff like that. But this is gonna be a good video, and when you're done with this video, I have other videos on the Law of Attraction, so hit up my YouTube page, go through my videos, I have a whole Law of Attraction playlist this. Get comfortable, feel me? Watch them. But when it comes to manifesting love, I want to put things into perspective so you manifest love the right way. In order to manifest the right love, the right relationship, it starts with you. And I wrote something down. I, I want to read it to y'all because I'm working on a, a, little, a new little book thingy. Um, basically, it's 100 rules to live by. And love is something that I talk about. Become one with yourself. When you become one with yourself, there's nothing another individual can do to affect how you feel about yourself or where you're trying to go. It all leads up to manifesting love, I promise. There's nothing another individual can do or say to alter the inner peace that you have within you. You don't need another being to complete you. What they bring to the table is a bonus. You complete you, not them. Make it a point to complete yourself because the moment something or someone is gone, you feel lost because of it. When you feel lost, you go searching for what's missing and you may find that in the wrong person or Thing. So when it comes to manifesting love, babies, and I don't care if you're older than me or not, you're still my baby. Um, <laughs> when it comes to manifesting love, you have to be as whole as possible before attracting the right love into your life. Because when we're not whole, we're not fully happy with ourselves, we're not fully happy with our situation, what we do is we go and find it in things that aren't good for us. Or you may find a person that fills the void that you're trying to fill a little bit, but you're ignoring the red flags that this person is not even good for you in the first place you feel me you can find say you're lonely right now right you want somebody to hold at night you want somebody to you want your person and you go out you're searching for this person and then you come across a person say you meet them at the bar the club whatever the gas station walmart and they're giving you all of the attention that you need they're making you feel good they're saying the right things and they're and you're like wow this feels good they make me feel good all the while there's people out there that pry on people they can feel if you're not complete you feel me and they know that they can get away with certain things with you because they are the missing piece to your puzzle at right now but all the while they may be cheating on you beating on you verbally abusing you they may be disrespecting you they may be like there's so many flaws in the situation but you don't care when you're incomplete because you have that something to fill that that void so how do you fill a void without another human being um and i, I will get to the steps of how to manifest in love but I want to let you guys know that it starts within you and I feel like even if I'm talking to one person somebody watching this video needs to hear this you will attract exactly what you need in your life right so you have to make it a point to become the best version of yourself whatever you want in another human being you have to become that so you can attract that you feel me I'm just gonna give a random example you can't want somebody that made six figures or this this and that or they drive a Ferrari or they you know what I'm saying they fine they keep themselves up when you don't keep yourselves up you not even in a position to buy a Ferrari you don't make six figures like you know what I'm saying you get what you attract I'm coming from a place where I know my friends are like dang Amber when are you gonna start dating da, 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 da. it's never it's never a thing where I'm just like shutting every dude out because clearly 
literally there are going to be dudes that want my time and attention but I had it was a moment where I stopped and I was like why am I attracting the same type of person you know what I'm saying the people that aren't good for me you know what I'm saying I'm saying I want this type of person I want a good dude I want this but I'm not getting that so I had to really sit back and self-reflect basically <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying I want a good dude. I want a dude to treat me like this. I want this, this, and that. But I'm getting the complete opposite. Why am I getting the complete opposite? Is because there were things that I had to work on within me. I had to get to a point where I complete me. You know what I'm saying? Now that I am complete within myself and I am so sure who I am, now I'm getting what I deserve. You feel me? Like now I'm getting the quality of men. Before I will attract straight thugs. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Straight thugs, you feel me? Yeah, they cute or whatever. And you know, it's fun, it's thrilling. <laughs> it is thrilling. I was attracting dudes that come from a certain environment, attracting dudes that come from broken homes, attracting dudes who don't have a relation a good relationship with a mother or a father, attracting dudes who don't know how to treat women. And I had to sit back and become at peace with certain things that happened to me. I had to become at peace with where I come from. I have to become at peace with, you know, any insecurity that I do have. I had to get on my grind. So when a dude approaches me and it's like, you know, what you bring to the table? And I could look him dead in the eyes and say, I built the table, so what's up? <laughs> you feel me like I had to become one within me so when it that's the first step to manifesting love the right way become so in love with yourself become so in love with yourself that when another human being approaches you whatever they're bringing to you is a bonus it's on top it's like you already got the milkshake you are the milkshake and what they bring in is the whipped cream and the cherry you feel me you know what i'm saying it's not something that you are complete with them you are complete by yourself and that's why some so many people break down when a breakup happens because that their person or the person that they thought was their person leave they take a good chunk of them with them they take a good chunk of their happiness and skedaddle the next part is really deciding what you want and I mean, take out a piece of paper. And it's okay if you wanna drop a comment, what are the qualities in a human being that you want? Because I'm telling you, once you verbally say something out loud or you write it down, it's going to come to you at the right time. But I will let you know, if you wanna manifest something, you have to be ready for it. That's why I'm preaching to you, not, not preaching, but I'm saying to you now is like, become that best version of yourself what you want comes and it's right there in front of you you ready for it there's been so many times i'm pretty sure somebody watching this video there's been a time where you had that person but it wasn't the right time because you weren't ready you weren't right within yourself you weren't right mentally spiritually emotionally physically you weren't ready for them and you end up losing that person that's what i'm saying you don't want that to happen to you or you don't want that to happen to you again so get right with yourself write down what you want all the qualities and i tell you be so specific that it sounds crazy when you say it out loud i don't look i'm telling you be specific be specific because i did manifest a person i listed out all the attributes that i wanted in a person i wasn't so specific that i forgot to say and he's 100 percent single yeah he had all the attributes that i wanted but he wasn't mine and I wasn't about to fight for a person that was already somebody else's person. You feel me? I'm not doing it. So yeah, write down everything that you want and you have to believe that you deserve this person. Do you deserve this person? And truly in your heart, believe that you deserve it. Yeah, you could say, yeah, I deserve this person. And I deserve this person. Your conscious is aware of you saying this, but it's your subconscious that has to know, has to believe that you deserve this person. And if you are trying to manifest this person, I want you to write down, think about why do you deserve this person? If you want to convince your subconscious that you deserve this person or deserve this scenario, deserve to meet this person, what are the reasons why? You could say, you know what? I, I got myself together. I'm in a much better space mentally, uh, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. I feel good. I feel at one with myself. I'm at one with the universe. I'm a good person. I do things for people and I'm ready for my person. I am ready to meet my soulmate because I've turned my life around. 
I'm in a space where I can love somebody fully. I'm not just wanting a person to fill any void that I have in my life. I am ready to love. I'm ready to give 100% to this person. I am ready to commit. I am ready to understand this person. I am ready to to understand a person to the core, you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to know a person, but to understand a person where they where they come from. Why do they cry? What makes them cry? What what are their fears? Every I'm talking about everything you feel me like love is so precious but you got to be ready for it and when you're not ready for it what happens you lose it i feel like i feel like i just went off did i go off if you're trying to manifest love hit this video with a thumbs up for me you know what i'm saying what is your situation so um yeah i was wanting to drop gems drop gems so just to do a recap what are you doing you are becoming one with yourself you are forgiving yourself for any wrongdoing you are becoming the best version of yourself first before trying to manifest anything with another person two you are requesting you are asking you are setting your intentions on what you want with another individual if you're ready to meet your soulmate say that what are they like what do they look like all of that list it out because like i said your life was mapped out before you even got here so your soulmate is already here already here you know what i'm saying it's, they're already on earth it's not like they're not born yet shoot if you're watching this youtube video you old enough <laughs> your soulmate has been placed here you feel me and then you have to believe that your person is on your way to you and you deserve this person you feel me so i am amber with the love gal.com um i hope you subscribe to my videos i have other law of attraction videos that you can watch um, go to my channel. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be a uh, one or two that'll be trickled in in the, the recommended section. Go to my channel. I'm going to be linking other videos that you may be interested in in the description box. Like I said, all you have to do to join the fam, join the positive community is hit that subscribe button, love. It's a, a whole bunch of positivity on, over here. You can, I'm Amber. You can follow me on Instagram at Amber Raquel. The link will be in the description box. But I do not give advice on Instagram. Why? Because I'm just like you i like to scroll like pictures and laugh at memes that's all i do on instagram you know post selfies you can follow my travels all that stuff anyway love y'all thank y'all and i'm out